Yo, what is going on guys? My name's Jay Fanta and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we have the free-to-play guide for the new Super Gogeta Doken event, the ultimate pair of the Otherworld on the Super 2 25 stamina difficulty stage. So as you can see here, we have a full STR team and that reason is because every single phase of the Gogeta Doken event is all physicals. So the obvious choice to run as a team is a full STR because we have type advantage. So this is the team we are running today. We are running Super Gen Ember as the friend. Super Gen Ember does have the advantage against the first three phases of this Doken event. He does bypass all the damage reduction stuff and everything like that. So he will do extra damage. And with that, we are running a lot of extreme STR units. Obviously, your team doesn't have to copy this one. I wanted to run a team where I didn't want to run LR Vegito Blue or anything like that. Anything too insane. So this was like a nice compromise. Uh, and I do want to see how good Super Gen Ember does on the Doken event. Because on the Vegito Doken event guide, we didn't run the uh, units that do extra damage. And that was pretty much easy cake. Hopefully we, this one is not too hard. If you haven't seen the Vegito Doken event guide, make sure you check it out in the description down below. Definitely worth it if you're having troubles or if you summoned the Vegito. But... For our leader, we have Master Roshi, SDR types, key class 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Next, we have B Pan. She's a nice defensive unit, uh, and she does damage reduction, stuns, and heals. So hopefully with that, we don't have to use any items. Krillin here gets a damage reduction of 50% when guard is activated. You get him from the barber shop. Pretty easy stuff. Uh, then we have LR Freezer. He should be very easy for you guys to farm, especially when EZA Gohan starts to finish, and then, you know, Freezer's campaign comes around. Very easy to grind up. So hopefully you guys have this by the time um, Gogeta and Vegito end. Next, we have the Golden Freezer. He's a good linking partner for LR Freezer. Good defensive capabilities. Uh, supreme damage. Nice attack boost of 40%. Good stuff there. And then we have Android 13 for the damage reduction of 30% when Key is 8 or more. So a lot of damage reducing units. But just, just because, I mean, I'm trying to do this no item run. Of course, if you don't want to run Extreme STR, Normal STR does just fine. I did that in my previous run. As you can see, I've already cleared it, uh, but I want to see what Janemba can do. So, items I'll be using, Sensor Bean, Ghost Usher, Icarus, and Princess Snake. Nothing out of the ordinary. Let's get started because everybody wants to see this run. Alright, so let's grab as much key as possible, mainly for our Super STR types. The good thing about our Super units is that they don't require key. So if you realize B-Pan can super attack at 9 if you max out her super attack. Uh, then you have Krillin, which doesn't really need a super attack at all. And then we have Master Roshi, which provides himself his own key anyway. And he doesn't really do much damage. All that we need to rely on is LR Freezer, Golden Freezer, and Janemba for the damage. Janemba can dodge as well, so hopefully that comes in super clutch. So these two actually work well together. Giving a little bit of key boost. I'm actually going to... Um, go like this. I want to super attack with Janemba first, just because he does a little bit extra damage. Nothing to be ashamed there. And Freeze is still a good tank, either way, with the LR stats. You know, lately I've been running LR Vegito Blue a lot, so I just want to take a break from LR Vegito Blue. You know, <laughs> he's, a, he's a gray area of where he should be. So 1.8 million. Very simple stuff. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Alright, so our next, we always put Android 13 at the end because he only uh, does the damage reduction after his passive activates. Krillin can be in the middle, that's fine, as long as Kr uh, Golden Freezer gets the super attack. Um, we should just save up all our orbs and I guess 13 can super attack, why not? Alright, so I might have to separate Janemba and the... Uh, Ella Freezer, just because I want someone else pairing up with Janemba. Maybe B Pan, just because I want the two freezes linked up together. They work just as well. Two key, and I think like 15% attack boost. Alright, so let's go like this. We'll just wait for B Pan to come around. And let's click on those orange ones and grab these greens. And I think Janemba should be able to take him out here. I feel like we're going to go a no item run. Looking good so far. We are do going to get super attacked, but... 37,000. Nothing, nothing. It's absolutely nothing. 647,000. And we get a... And then it's Janemba's time. 
1.5 million. Yeah, that damage, extra damage works so well. It's weird how the cutscene is a little bit more to the, the um, more to the diagonal uh, top right. I think it's broken. <laughs> Dokkan's broken. Somebody fix it. All right. I actually don't mind this rotation. Screw whatever I said about the rotations. We just need damage output. <laughs> All right, B-Pan should heal us up whatever we lost in that last turn. 125,000, yeah, with pretty much full HP here. And then after this, we have the final phase, so. I think it's the final phase? Maybe it's not. Or maybe I lost count. No, no, I'm pretty sure we are at the final phase. So, I guess Freeze is going to get shafted here. Yeah, everybody's, everybody here is a key hog. They need their, their orbs. So far, not using Janemba's dodge capabilities at all. Alright, will this one shot the pair? Almost, almost. One bar to go. Let's see if I can beat my record from the, the previous. The last run I did, which I did offline, was a uh, hundred uh, was the thousand day Goku. And pretty much the same team. So nothing too different. It's just you know, everybody got a stat boost instead of extreme STR. Alright, so let's get the heal up here. And hopefully, this is enough to take him out. Them out, sorry. Nice, critical. And only 8,000 damage afterwards. So, yeah, Golden Freezer. Easy cleanup. Alright, so now to the final stage. Now, this is where Janemba does not get the actual advantage. So, he just does regular old damage. But he still gets, you know, he's dodging and everything like that. Uh, hopefully, we can super attack. No, but Frieza will get a super attack. Let's give Frieza some love. And Krillin does not need any super attacks. All those reds, definitely going to go to Frieza next turn. Or next time he comes around. No dodges. And then we get another cinematic super these LRs though. <laughs> Additional attack though. Not bad. This Janemba I think only has two dupes. So I think he is maxed out in criticals. But I'm not too sure. I just picked a, a random Janemba. 675,000. Two bars down. Ooh, Krillin with the dodge. Another dodge. Whoa, okay. Krillin showing up. Okay, I'm going to put Frieza up front here. And, ah, man, we have to grab these reds because I do want to get the heal off. And then Android 13 can get that because he only needs 8 key. Okay. Ooh, additional super attack. Let's go. Orb system coming in hot. Almost halfway there. Alright, here we go. Ooh, B-Pan with the dodge. I put a lot of dodge into B-Pan and a little bit of dodge in Krillin. I, I was surprised Krillin dodged twice. I think he has like level 6 dodge. Dodging more than Janema, I will say. <laughs> Alright, so let's grab these purples and we can still super attack with the LR Freezer. Bar's getting close to full. Hopefully we can finish it before the Doka mode. That's usually the goal when using a free-to-play team. Defeat the boss before you get the Doka mode. 660,000 critical. Yes, one dodge, two dodge. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, two and a half bars left. Getting super close. Still no items used. B-Pan is coming in. You know, very helpful without using any items. So, this grind here, if you ever got the Gogeta or Vegito, because I've seen some people who get very unlucky in this event, in the summons. Uh, if you do end up getting them, the grind shouldn't be too hard compared to UI Goku. Still, in my personal opinion, the hardest grind ever. Alright, I think we are going to get the Doku mode next turn, unfortunately. The bar is looking very close to full. And yeah, so the good thing about this team is that pretty much everybody is obtainable throughout the week. So B-Pan can be obtained on the Sundays. 
Um, and then we have the Ella Freezer on Sundays as well. So that's a big bonus. Uh, Android 13, Krillin, and Master Roshi all from the barbershop. So they can be obtained every day, pretty much. And then the only hard part is Golden Freezer because his event doesn't come around until the Tournament of Power event comes around again, which it does come frequently, I will say. It, mo it will definitely come back very soon on the global side of things just because Jiren's going to get Awakening and then Vegeta, Blue, Evolution's going to be a thing. So yeah. Alright, Janemba should finish things off. 1.1 million. This is non-canon. Janemba actually takes the win this time. <laughs> but yeah, that is going to wrap up the video, guys. Hopefully this free-to-play guide did help you in any way. Definitely check out the LR Vegito Doken event guide if you did summon the LR Vegito from the banner. And if you guys did enjoy this video at any point, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, of course. Share this video around. But as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay Fanta. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay busy. Peace out.